So I think they'll come and go. But you have to <laughs> let them come and let them go. Sophie Countess of Wessex is emotionally reflecting on the moments of grief she and her family have experienced as they adjust to life without Prince Philip. The late Duke of Edinburgh's daughter-in-law, who was married to Prince Edward, opened up about her family's path forward during an interview on BBC Radio 5 Live and said things are not the same without him. Well, he's left a giant-sized hole in our lives. Sophie added that lockdown made it even more difficult to mourn the loss in the way they wanted. It's hard to spend as much time with the Queen that, than we would like to. We've, we've been trying to, but of course it's still not that easy. Um, and of course the normal way of things isn't normal yet. So we're not necessarily doing the things that we would normally have done with him. Um, so I think the whole grieving process is probably likely for us to take a lot longer. It may be the same for many other families out there. The royal mom of two went on to describe the pangs of grief she's felt in the little moments. It's only when you would do the normal things that you would have done with them and you suddenly realize that they are not there that you really start to have a, oh my goodness, moment. One of those moments came when her and her family recently visited Scotland during a school holiday, which brought back the memories. And we went up there um, during half term. You okay? Mm. And just to be there in that place was an oh my God moment. Um, so I think they'll come and go, but you have to <laughs> let them come and let them go. But just talking to you now, it's a, it's a bit of an oh my goodness moment, which you don't necessarily expect and you don't expect them to come. The entire royal family was hit hard by Philip's passing back in April, which came two months before he would have turned 100 years old. Sophie's daughter, Lady Louise Windsor, was especially close to her grandfather and bonded with him over their shared love of carriage driving. And she reportedly inherited his two fell ponies, as well as his carriage. Prince Harry was another grandchild who had a close bond with Philip. Dailymail.com's Charlie Langston previously told Access Hollywood about it. He was very close to Prince Philip. Philip was there to guide Harry through one of the toughest times in his life after he lost his mother, Princess Diana. The two shared a very similar, slightly cheeky sense of humor. And I think Harry will also be feeling incredibly sad for his grandmother. You know, she has lost someone who was by her side for more than seven decades. And now that Harry is a husband and a father himself, I think he can appreciate more than anyone, just how that might feel to lose someone so important. And having been through such an awful loss when his mother died, I think Harry and William probably really understand how the Queen might be feeling. And they're also probably reflecting back on that time in their lives and just how significant a role Philip played during that time.